Hi, Skillmates! Welcome to the last lesson of our Virtual Assistant Crash Course. And this lesson will focus on calendar management. So in this video, we will teach you how you can create an event, invite stakeholders or participants, and even add reminders using Google Calendar, which is the most popular calendar used by most companies and entrepreneurs. So let us start now. Nothing is more important for entrepreneurs, executives, and professionals than to stay on top of their schedules. It is a challenge not to miss any of their important meetings and deadlines, especially if they are dealing with tens of different transactions every single day. This is why the need for a virtual or executive assistant comes in. In this section, we are going to teach you how to properly manage the calendar of your clients. There are so many tools out there for calendar management. However, since Google Calendar is the one that is most commonly used and the most popular, we are going to direct our focus in explaining how to use Google Calendar in this section. So to start, make sure you are on Google homepage. Next is click on the Google application icon, select calendar. So now you are redirected to Google Calendar. So on this drop down menu, you can choose your calendar view. So you can choose whether you want to have a day view, a week view, a month view, a year view. And of course, you can also customize it if you want. So a day view is useful if you want to check what events are going to take place today or in a certain day. So for example, this is my calendar today and there's nothing scheduled. Let's go on 30th. So I have a schedule at 10 a.m. And on September 30, I have my first social activity. So this is the importance of a day view. Now let's go to week view. So week view gives you a glimpse of how busy your week is going to be. So on this week, this is my scheduled activity for next week. So I can see that I only have three scheduled meetings there. And on the other hand, month view, this is the month view. And this is the year view. There's nothing much scheduled go back to month view there you go so month and year views let you see the bigger picture of your calendar it is extremely helpful especially if you are running a month-long or year-long event or progress tracking right so of course you can also choose to customize some things depending on what works best for you and your client so now let's get to the main point how do we create a new event and make it appear to our calendar right so for example okay Romy I want to set a meeting for my client or I want to set a meeting for myself with Alvaro. For example, Alvaro is a client of mine and we decided to have a, um, a monthly uh, meeting on a monthly basis. Okay. So to create an event, um, I would rather set this on a day basis since I, I am more comfortable with this one. So what you need to do is to choose the day when the, the event is going to take place. So let's say I want to set an event with Alvaro every second Wednesday of the month. So starting on October 13. Okay, there you go. So here we have the day view, right? So the next step would say choosing the time on when the event is going to take place. So let's say I prefer to have a meeting at 4 p.m. with Alvaro. So what I need to do is to just to click the mouse near 4 p.m. There you go. And don't worry if you don't get it exactly at one point. It's not 4 p.m. since you can actually edit it here, okay? But the first thing we're going to do is to set a title for the meeting or for the event. So this is a meeting between Romy and Alvaro. And this is going to be there. Um, one on one meeting or go. So here you can choose whether this is an event or is this a task. So this is an event since it's not just a task for me. It has it's a meeting an event, another person. So this is October 13. You can see it here. So here, let's say I want to have a 25 minute meeting with Alvaro. So here you can set the time 4pm. And then here, you can choose whether 30 minutes, 45 minutes, right? But you can see that 
the choices or options are limited to 15 minutes or 30 minutes in intervals. So for this one, we don't have the 25 minute option, which is what I want. So what you need to do is just choose the nearest time. So in this case, the 30 minutes, right? And then after that, manually edit the time here. So instead of 4.30, since it's only 25 minutes, I'm going to put it 4.25 p.m. There you go. So here all day, are you, do you have to tick this one or not? So if the event is going to last for the whole day, then definitely click it. But if it's only for a certain time, then it's not all day because we have a specific time for that. It's only 25 minutes, right? Yeah. So here you can choose the time zone. So here you can see me using the CET or um, Central European time in Madrid or CET, right? And this is very important, especially if you're not on the same time zone as your client, you better choose their time zone so it doesn't get confusing for them. And after all, our job as virtual assistants is to make their workload tighter. That includes not letting them worry and confuse about their schedules. There we go. So I'm going to just click OK. So here you can choose how frequent this meeting is going to happen, right? So is this on a daily basis? Is it on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or whatever you want, annual basis, right? So for me, since I've told you that I want to set a monthly meeting with Alvaro every second Sunday, uh, uh, second Wednesday of the month, then I'm going to um, choose this one monthly on the second day. If you cannot find the option that you want, you can always customize it. But for me, I'm happy with the monthly on the second Wednesday. There you go. So I don't need to find a time since I've already set a time for this one. And then here you have to add guest. Add guest means typing their email address so that an invite an invite is going to be sent to them. So in my case, alvaro at alvarotrigo.com. There you go. Okay, there you go. To make sure you have this join Google Meet button here. So once the time for this event comes, you can just click on Google Meet or join Google Meet and you will be redirected to the room where you can have the video call with whoever is your guest, right? And you can also add a location, but since this is going to be a virtual meeting, then I don't have to, or I don't feel the need to add some location. And on this part, you can add some description or attachment. And description and attachment will help you or will be super useful for your guests to remember what this event is all about. So in this part, you can edit uh, more things, a few more things. So for example, on this one, this can be the activity color, okay? You can assign different uh, colors to different activities. So for example, I will set like yellow for personal task and blue for a client or supplier meeting, green for a team member meeting, including my employer and my co-work mates, and red for time-sensitive um, deadlines or activities, right? So since this is a meeting with a team member, which is my employer, so I'm going to choose the green one, okay? So I want to mark this as busy, as I don't want to be disturbed while I'm having a meeting with my employer. and. That's default disability here. I want Google Calendar to remind me one day before and then not just one day before, but also one hour before the meeting. And another thing is 10 minutes before the meeting. So I want three reminders the day before, at one hour before and 10 minutes before. So now you would have to click on save. And would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guest? Of course, I want um, to send invitations to them so then they get notified that they have been invited to this meeting or to this event. Send. There you go. So now if you want to edit something, you just have to click the event. There you go. And you can edit here. Just click on edit button and then you can change anytime that uh, anytime any information that you want to change and if you want to delete just click the meeting and then here we have the delete event if you want to send a message to all the guests then you can just click this one email guest so that's it now you already know how to create an event for yourself and 
you can also do this for your client for sure. If you are still starting your journey as a VA and still don't have a client, I suggest you start using Google Calendar to organize your personal schedule. So that's the end of our calendar management lesson. Congratulations, you already know how to create an event, invite guests, add details on the event, and set reminders. You can now start managing a client's calendar. So if the client delegates you or provide you the access to their calendar, you can just do exactly how we showed you in this lesson. This is also the end of our virtual assistant crash course. So thank you for learning with us and keep learning. Have a great day.